My name is Christian Adolfo, and I'm a writer from North East London, and I love music. So the reality of being a writer for me is about putting pen to paper. It's very important to, I guess, trial and error and get a sense of, kind of fine tune what I want to see as a kind of final product. I always thought writing was something I wanted to do because my dad had always, any kind of form of kind of literature or prose or copy, he just let me read and be a lot more kind of well-rounded, not only to kind of make my writing better, but to be able to speak better, a bit more and communicate with other people, even people that weren't maybe particularly from the same background. Music was a massive, integral part of my house of growing up. You know, my dad had his big vinyl and CD collection. He was also a DJ, so I used to follow him most weekends, carrying his collection, setting up the equipment, seeing how it you know, curate a vibe for for people in the space and how people appreciate that as well. And as, as well within that, I also forget, my mum was sometimes the kind of host and the MC, so they were essentially like a little double act going around, mostly like North East London, playing these like hall parties and um, occasions for a lot of people. And growing up, I used to listen to a lot of quite indie music, especially bands like Block Party, Lee Singer, who's um, of Nigerian origin, he used to wear these like Fred Perry um, tops, so that kind of very kind of preppy style, very clean. Um, Pharrell, of some a big, massive like Neptune's fan as well, so he's another one I used to look out for, for I guess the designs and the colours, the pastel kind of colours as well. And then on 2000, in terms of like individuality, my forthcoming book, uh, Quitting on Afro Beats, I wanted to choose this kind of topic to really understand the context of where the culture, where the music has kind of come from. Because a lot of time when it comes to music of black origin, especially when it gets into like a global kind of pop room, we're very quick to forget where things have kind of developed or the different kind of journeys in which um, artists themselves or locations in which have formed these different kind of migrant communities and especially in the diaspora. Um, help to kind of cultivate and push the music. And then with Afrobeats in particular, I feel like the diaspora has played a massive role in pushing that to the forefront and almost allowing kids that are born either in the UK or elsewhere in maybe Europe to really try and reconnect with the culture through this genre, yeah. I feel like, especially with Afrobeat and Afrobeats and the present context, if we took in from the, the kind of fellow context, that's someone who's gone in on a very personal journey with how they identify as being African and how they identify by being Nigerian. But that came from obviously them moving to the UK, then going to the US and seeing the plights at how black people are treated around the world and knowing that he has to speak to the truth to the people because the propaganda and the news, the newsreels aren't portraying in the daily lives of what it means to be Nigerian and the struggles ahead. And that's something that is probably less um, apparent now as regards to like being on the ground and demonstrating and fighting for truth. But I feel like, you know, with the NSARS movement in particular as an example and speaking out and making these issues more in a kind of wider room, that's a start. I probably would like more artists if they can, you know, in the long term, make more of a commitment to, to that side of things. So my name is Christian Adolfo. I'm a writer from North East London. I love music and my book, Equipping on Afrobeats by Jacqueline Publishers will be out early next year, 2022.